So you go through that, and boop ba doop. Now you go to the shop, and you go in here. You want to buy some items. You're like, oh man, I could really use some items. That'd be great. Uh, what what stuff do you have for me? Oh, it's two thousand five hundred dollars. So you can't buy anything right now. This is actually for later in the game. So uh, what you need to do is you need to talk to this chick. And you want to take the monkey, and if you buy a pack of bubble gum, you can have the monkey for free. Do you want him? Unfortunately, you don't have anything else because you're a fuckface. So you have to get rid of this. And now you can have the monkey. Percent-wise, I'm probably... 15 to 20% to the game. Something like that. I, I will estimate that I'll finish at around 12 to 14 hours. That's my estimate. Uh, Ness is now locked underground back in 3, and Paula used her abilities to contact Jeff to say, Hey, get us the fuck out of here, bitch. And he's like, yes, miss. Oh, I don't have an ATM card, so I can't even get money. Later, Stussy. Uh, oh, wait, I'm not even going the right way. It's a fine ass you have. Oh no, it's just that it takes a while to get all the characters. Like, the last character you get in your party, you don't even get the last character for your party until you're like 50% of the game. So it's, yeah. Hell, the last spell you get in the game, the last psychic ability you get in the game, you get right before the final dungeon of the game. So, you know, it's like, they, they space it out a lot. I like some fast food. I mean, it's not good for me. But I'm not going to say I'm never going to eat it or I don't eat it, you know? It's like, I'm fucking human, you know? I mainly, for fast food, eat, um... I've tried to eat new stuff a lot since I've been down here in Southern California now. Like, I'm eating a lot of different fast food that I didn't eat before. Yeah, and I'm throwing away the handmade cookies. I'm such an asshole. That was an easy battle. I cannot carry more stuff. No! Yes! I do eat In-N-Out Burger. Not that often anymore, now that I'm down here, because there's just better choices, but, uh... I do eat it. I try to stay away from red meat. I try to eat red meat very, very rarely. Uh, Meat-wise, I eat mainly chicken and fish. Um, so... So what you got to do now is, is you got to go up here, and you got to go in here, and you talk to this dude, and he's all like, fuck you. That's actually not the right one, hold on. I got to go over here. There we go. So now you get some stew, and then you go to sleep. And you wake up, and then, and then, and then. So now you need to head south, and you're Paula. You're Paula and stuff like that. And then, now you have that. So, when you go in, um, or you, you go out of the tent, and now it's all daytime, and it's all windy and stuff like that. And so you go down here, and you go to what looks like a fucking... Like, uh, I can't think of what those things are. What are the things that, like, the sewer, the manhole, the manhole cover? It's like it's a manhole cover thing. That's why I always thought that was. And so you give him that, and all of a sudden, for no apparent reason, you've pretty much been able to suspend disbelief at this point on this game from everything else that's happened, I'm pretty sure. But he blows a fucking bubble, and Tessie comes up, and he's riding her. Uh, my Tumblr is just Azrae Reaction. Right, Tumblr.com. <laughs> About being a mod in the channel, there's not really anything to it. Like, you don't really get any special privileges. It's like, you know.
It is possible to uh, fuck up the order of dungeons. Yes, you can go in a completely fucked up order, but you're still gonna have to do it anyways. That's like the longest fucking sequence in the game. Seriously, like... Any GTFO. Now the monkey here apparently is like drunk, so he just likes to fall behind you like 20 miles. This is a mad ass motherfucking goat. And this guy actually does some pretty significant damage. Uh, he can do some pretty good damage if you fucking let him, but we're not gonna let him. This is all going to be up on YouTube too, so just letting you know. <gasps> so now you have to go through this really weird dungeon, and this comes into play later in the game. You have to fight a rowdy mouse, which, you know, can rip you a new asshole, but uh, I'm not going to heal because I'm a fucking gangster. This is kind of like a leveling thing here, too. I should read off donations. I would read off donations, but I don't know if people would be okay with it. Like, I don't want to read like somebody's name and they're like, Oh my god, I can't let my wife know I'm fucking watching this stream. Oh, or something like that, you know? But I'd totally do it. <laughs> if people want me to. Yes, it is, Marky Man. Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm only playing this game, and if I beat it, Mother 3 for the next 24 hours. I haven't even been checking the donation thing. I don't know if people have even been doing it. Like, I have to check here. I'll check my phone. Hard to check and play at the same time. Now the duck has an ironic ability. It spins something around so you lose the ability to cast PP, like ability to cast psychic abilities. But it's completely pointless because Jeff can't even cast them. So I guess they just put that in there to troll people. Worthless Protoplasm is the name of somebody who actually looks at my YouTube stuff. So that was kind of interesting. <laughs> who is paying for your bills? Well, I am. I mean, like, I mean, are you saying, like, is, like, I mean, I've, I've got YouTube videos I'm doing, which makes money, but I don't have a job outside of that, which is why I'm looking for a job like crazy. Like, uh, I should probably add that in there so people don't think I'm just, like, randomly doing anything. I'll add that in there. I'm gonna add that in right after this, and I'll check my PayPal. Oh, that's one, oh, okay, I'll look at that then. Just a second. And also don't donate money if you're in a bad situation yourself, if you're fucking hurting for money, if you need the money for something else important, don't do it. Only do it if you literally, it's just legit disposable income, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> Oh, he just attacked himself. What a pro. Well, thanks, Maduos. And if nobody donated me a damn thing during this entire stream, I would be perfectly fine with that because I want to do this kind of stuff to entertain people. I want to do an Earthbound stream for a very long time. There's people have known when they've asked me repeatedly about doing it and stuff like that, so... If you don't donate anything, I'm not gonna be butter at you, I'm gonna say fuck off or anything like that. It's perfectly fine. I fucking did YouTube for five years and didn't make a damn dime. So... You know? I majored in television and stuff like that. I like entertaining people through videos. Uh, Kabobble, I play League of Legends, Tribes Ascend, and Smite with viewers usually, and Team Fortress 2 some.
Uh, I stream on Twitch probably about three or four times a week, something like that. The next time I do a 24-hour stream, by the way, um, I'm going to have a, uh, I'm going to have something like donation incentives, so people aren't just giving me money to help me out with bills. Like, I want to have some sort of incentives, like the game I'm playing, like you either can name the characters, or fucking, like, I'll do something, like, whatever else. What the fuck is with my hair? Or, I don't know, like, I'll have to think of incentives and stuff like that for the next time I do this, because this was kind of like an impromptu 24-hour stream. And I'll have to think of stuff I could actually physically give you. Unfortunately, I'm a video editor, I'm not an artist, and I'm not, like, you know, a creative person. Like, I can't actually make something material for you. So, I'm kind of boned in that area, but... But I, I want to give people back for this kind of stuff. I just don't have anything to actually do it yet. So if you don't want to donate anything, that's perfectly fine. Uh, a stream where I tell stories and talk about random shit. That's most of my streams, actually. I'm not a material creative person. I don't create drawings. I don't create whatever. Like, all my stuff's, like, not tangible. It's... It's like videos. It's not something you could like hold in your hands. The 484 viewers, goddamn. Yeah, if you want to see the story streams, usually watch me when I make thumbnails and stuff like that. Those are the best ones. Well, that's the thing, like, I would raffle off prizes, but I don't have, like, I'm not a really big material person. Like, literally, once I sell my magazines and I sell my Magic the Gathering cards, I'm not really going to have anything material to give people, besides, like, my computer parts, which is, you know, I, I kind of need my computer parts. Guessney, if you were recently robbed and the police from your area are useless... I don't really know what to tell you, man. That sucks. I mean, I am not really a knowledgeable person on that. RPGs forever. I just beat Chrono Trigger on my phone the other day, actually. Well, the problem about donating to do a video series is there's a twofold problem with that. One is that I used to do that a while back, and like to make it time slash money feasible, so that like you know people can't just like 50 people donate me like you know 20 bucks. Like, you know, I would be doing video requests for like the next two years. Like it would never, I would never get done if it was something small. And if it's a large amount, then people would probably be displeased with what they get. Like if it was like a hundred bucks for me to do like, you know, a fucking 10 part series, you know, that's a lot of damn money. So it's either people don't really get what they want for the money they donated or I'm permanently stuck in request hell for like two years. I played it on my phone with the ZSNES emulator on my phone. But I will think of something though. But I'm gonna shut the fuck up about the goddamn donation saying I wanna play the fucking game and concentrate on it. And yes, you should, stick kid. Sell one, I did SimCity, uh, Super Nintendo, and uh, PC. I might actually die here. Maybe not. Oh, actually, I need to fucking eat something right now. Need to eat that hamburger. A best gift for your mother on her birthday. Well, I mean, that all depends on what your mom's like, you know? It's like, I fucking have given my mom, like, little videos and stuff like that I've made, but it's like, you know, it all depends on your son-mother relationship. It's like, you know, she could fucking hate what you do for a living and be like, meow. You know, and she could love what you do for a living and do something like, you know, really neat for her or whatever. So, I mean, I can't really give advice on that. Fucking mushrooms, man. I have watched AVGN. Yep. I'm gonna try and concentrate on the game some, so if I don't immediately respond to uh, stuff, then that's why. I don't think I'd be able to give tips on rhythm games, because it's kind of like something you just have to do. You just have to play it a lot and get better at it. Yes, this whole fucking game is on mushrooms. Sick. 
Send beta test positions for my games. I don't think I can legally do that in some cases. But that is a good idea for the games that I would make with Elise. That is a good idea for those, because I could do it for that one. So the problem here is, is you need to use the pack of bubble gum, and the monkey floats up and gets this rope. I imagine a lot of people probably got stuck here and had no fucking clue what the hell to do. They literally just don't give a fuck. Uh, I did want to major in psychology at one point and be a therapist, but I would hate labeling people. I would hate being like, you have autism. You need to take 20 fucking bottles of this a day, or you are a failure, or something like that. You know, I wouldn't be able to fucking do that. I would feel terrible doing that. Or, you know, even worse, you misdiagnose somebody. You misdiagnose somebody, and it's like, you know, fucking, you have fucking psychosis, or whatever else. You have, like, a neurosis of whatever else, and then they don't have it, and then they dose up on a bunch of pills, and it makes your life even worse. I'd fucking, I'd be terrible. I would feel terrible. <clears throat> Right, you can be perfectly fine with autism, but I'm trying to point out, like, as a psychologist, as a therapist, etc., I would be duty-bound to prescribe them pills and say they need to take it, just like how a doctor is duty-bound to prescribe stuff. Like, you know, that's why I'm saying I wouldn't want to do it.